Hello, today's devotional can be found in the guide to the scriptures under the word vision. And the word vision means a visual revelation of some event, person or thing through the power of the Holy Ghost. And visions are an example of how the Lord speaks to us when we have the Spirit to be with us and we are, when we are open-minded. Anyone can have visions or revelations from God. But different people can have them for different groups. We all have personal revelation, or we can if we so choose. People of di like different spiritual levels can have revelations for different groups of people depending upon what their divine stewardships are, depending on what God has asked them to do. And we honestly shouldn't try to have revelations for other people if we don't have permission from God to do so. Because that would be not the best thing in the world to do. That would be extremely disrespectful to God and trying to and it would be trying to take another's agency away because people can choose whether or not they listen to revelations that come from God. And revelations are personal, visions are personal. Especially the ones that are just meant for us. And of course, the Lord understands that some people might not be ready for visions or revelations, so he waits. Or some people reject the contents of visions or revelations, so he waits again. He is very patient to a point if some people reject visions or revelations just so they can stay inside their comfort zone. The Lord may ultimately determine that that person is not ready for such things and may never be and he may give those opportunities to another who is. The Lord does not want to give blessings away to other people, but if people don't value the blessings when they are given the opportunity to have them, the Lord is not going to infringe on another on the agency of others just so things can be fulfilled. He wants people to be happy. He wants people to make decisions that will make them happy. He wants people to learn from their decisions. And we shouldn't be afraid to trust the Lord and trust that he speaks to us through visions and revelations. And we will know that it is him when the Spirit confirms it through warmth and through peace and through assurance. Visions are not impossible. We just have to have an open mind and we have to be open to the Spirit and able to carry the Spirit of God within us. Even repentant people can have visions that they need to repent, and it's up to them whether or not they want to accept it. Satan would not have us believe in visions. He would make us think they are hallucinations, and that's just Satan, because he will never have any visions. He tries to be a fake vision to those wanting them, simply to sway them away from God, but it will not work. Those truly connected with God can often see through it. Sometimes they can't and they are fooled, but often they can see through Satan's schemes. We have constant visions of our worth and our value to God through the scriptures. And we need to always remember that we are children of God and valuable. And sometimes it takes a vision to remind us of that. Even blessings are a vision into what we should do. and. what we should really invest our time and lives in. Take them seriously when they happen. Treat them sacred. There's a reason. If God's speaking to you, there must be a reason. And with that said, I love you all so very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.